Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here, back. I'm finally back. I've been busy moving house, so that's why you've not seen me. Can we just have a massive shout out for Waldo for actually doing so many awesome videos for the channel as well? Hopefully, he's taught you a couple of things. Make sure you do go follow his Twitch channel, all right? And this is what we're looking at today. This is an on-screen prediction widget. It's super easy to install because it's just an OBS browser source. So it literally is copy, paste, done installed it's super easy to use someone called boingy has made it you can also check them out on twitch at spurious uh, i guess that's how you pronounce it hopefully i'm not butchering it but let's just get straight into it and i'll teach you how to get this up and running all right put your rock over the stone let's go this portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV is literally a one-stop shop for everything streaming related. They've got overlays, alert packages, emotes, sub badges, bit badges, absolutely everything to take your stream to the next level and make it look super professional. And what's better is you can actually save yourself a cheeky 50%, that's right, 50, half price of absolutely anything using off code Andy50. All the links are in the description down below and go to supporting the channel. So thank you very much guys and thank you own.tv for sponsoring this video so all you gotta do to get this up and running is jump to boingy's website that is boingy.co.uk forward slash predictions and it'll come up with just a really basic website all you need to do is press link your twitch account because you're already logged into your twitch account hopefully on the computer you're using it'll just ask you to authorize it just press authorize and then it'll automatically redirect you to the website and it'll tell you to copy this link just copy that link and then we're just going to head over into OBS. Once in OBS, we're going to create a new source, a brand new source, and it's going to be a browser source. You'll get three options that you're going to be changing, and that's the URL. You're just going to highlight everything in there and paste that new one that we just copied directly in there. And we're going to change the width to 500 and the height to 200. Once that's done, just press OK, and it'll just show a very blank box. There won't be anything in there. So now we can open your Twitch chat and we can do slash prediction and then we can actually create a prediction. So we can give it a name, we can choose the outcome of option one, the blue answer, and we can choose the outcome for option two, which is the pink answer, choose how long we want it to be, and we can press start prediction. And as you can see, that starts animating in there. We've got that available to put anywhere now on any scene. Adding this widget to other scenes is super easy to do. There's a couple of different ways using different plugins. I'm going to show you three ways of doing that. And you can use this for any other things or widgets or anything that you want on multiple scenes. So once in OBS, I've got my just chatting scene just here. I've also got the prediction scene, which has got the prediction system just there. I'm going to load up the prediction just so it's ready to go. So we'll do flip a coin and I'll leave it up for five minutes and then we can see it's just here. So if I want to add that to my Just Chatting, I go to Just Chatting and I've got my camera here. I can press the plus sign and I can actually just add that scene, the prediction scene in here. So if I go down to scene, I'll be able to see I've got prediction scene available. I select that and now you'll see I've got that available here, which I can then move around. Another way that we can add that is if we press the plus sign, we can just go to the browser source and then we can actually press add existing, press predictions and then press OK. And that again will show that browser source just here so we can use it there as well. I don't usually like to do that because that means you've got multiple versions of the browser source open at once and I just, I just, I don't think it's as clean. One other way that you can do it as well is using a thing called a mirror source. So if you've got the stream effects plugin, we just press the plus sign and then we can actually go up to source mirror and source mirror. We can give it a name if we want to press OK and we can choose the source here and in the source, we're going to choose the prediction scene or the prediction source, whichever it doesn't really matter. And I can select that just there. And then now this is in here, but this is classed as a completely different source, which means we can edit this one, add effects to it, and it won't affect the initial source. And that is pretty much all you need to know about this. Super easy to do, super lightweight. I've actually done my own prediction system using Leoran Board and Streamerbot. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to leave the video in the description down below because it's a little bit more modular you can do a couple more things with it you can edit the colors because all these different things are actually loaded inside of obs rather than just being a web browser source so hopefully you'll enjoy that big shout out to all these people especially for this last month that have been supporting me on making this content because i've not been making the content so thank you so much for staying 
part of Patreon. If you do want to support me, then consider, you know, press the link, links down below. You've got a super thank as well. You know what to do. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. And hopefully there are going to be more videos more quickly. More, just more. All right. Put your rock on the stone. I'll see you in the next one. Much love.